I'm Rear Admiral Joanne Burdian, Assistant Commandant of the United States Coast Guard for Response Policy. And I'm Kelly Chris, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for International Fisheries at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And I'm Millette Mesfin, U.S. State Department's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Oceans, Fisheries, and Polar Affairs. Together we serve as the tri-chairs for the Maritime Security and Fisheries Enforcement Act, or Maritime Safe Interagency Working Group. This month is National Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Forced labor is a form of human trafficking and a human rights abuse that exists in the fishing industry. The seafood industry includes some of the most critical global supply chains for food security and employment. The industry employs millions of workers who are particularly vulnerable to exploitation and human and labor rights abuses, which are very challenging to address. A growing body of evidence documents human and labor rights abuses, including forced labor and dangerous conditions both at sea, onboard vessels, and onshore at seafood processing facilities. These abuses are often associated with illegal, unreported, and unregulated, or IUU, fishing ventures, where owners and operators may disregard laws around conservation, vessel safety, pollution, and labor rights. Unfortunately, these abuses regularly go undisclosed and unaddressed. Empowering workers needs to be a key part of the solution. The U.S. government is committed to advancing respect for workers' rights and decent work conditions in the global seafood supply chain. We're strengthening implementation and enforcement of measures to promote legal, safe working conditions aboard fishing vessels. We all have a key role to play in protecting workers and ensuring the sector continues to offer safe, secure, critical livelihoods for workers at home and abroad. Through the work of the Maritime Safe Interagency Working Group, we are committed to employing a whole-of-government approach to promote respect for labor rights in the fishing industry and address human and labor rights abuses associated with IUU fishing.